We march on closer and closer to Invicta FC 22 this Saturday night, live on UFC Fight Pass. And I'm now pleased to be joined by the bully, Amber Brown. Uh, she returns to Invicta FC, returns to the atomweight division. Amber, it's uh, always exciting to see you on, on the car, but uh, exciting to have you back in a weight class where you did very well against Ayaka Hamasaki. Um, what was the decision like to move back to 105 after the Ashley Yoder fight? Uh, I sat on it for a while. At first, I didn't really want to move back down to 105. I wanted to stay at 115, but I felt pretty small for 115. So I kind of was like, should I try to gain some muscle or just suck it up and do the weight cut? And I feel like 105, I felt better at that weight class. I feel a lot stronger and faster at that weight class. So I feel like it's where I should be. Yeah, I mean, it's exciting to have you at 105 because... When you look at the division, I think the top three fighters at 105, granted he, both of the number two and number three have already fought Ayaka being you and, and, and Jin Yu Fry, but the division is a good division. It needs top shelf talent to continue to really be an option and, and show that there's a future there. And both you and Jin did very well against Ayaka. You, you lasted a long time with her and um, you know, you showed off a variety of your skills in, in that fight. And Jin Yu, you know, she, she lost due to the, the, the cut from the punch. But I feel like having you guys there right behind the champion is just as important as the champion themselves because it, it, it sets up that hierarchy and, and, and really, you know, has the division going forward. And while I understand that the UFC has a 115-pound division and, you know, for mainstream success, you know, a lot of people have to fight in the UFC or they do not realize, you know, the, the, the monetary uh, rewards uh, to a certain extent. But, um, you know, to have you at 105, I think it's almost a selfless decision, I think, because you're, you're keeping that that division relevant I hope I hope I'm making enough you are and honestly it wasn't all about the UFC I felt like I cut a lot of weight for yeah, 105 sure. but since I have decided to stay there I've been doing just being smarter about it and the weight cut in general throughout the camp and just making sure I do all the right things to make sure that the weight cut isn't hard because the cut for Ayaka was a little hard having the Shino fight like just weeks prior right. to that so I think if it was, a, I wish it was a better weight cut when I fought Ayaka, but I did get put up a good fight. So yeah, it's, I'm glad I'm staying at 105. Yeah, the division needs to grow and flourish, and there's a lot of good girls at 105. So. No doubt. Your opponent is uh, no slouch. Ashley Cummins returns to Invicta FC. It's been a couple of years since we've seen her. She moves down to 105. And, uh, you know, I, I was talking to her a little bit earlier, and I asked her, you know, your, her nickname, Amber Brown, is the bully. She likes to bully people. And, uh, you know, she said very... Plainly, she's not going to bully me. Um, what, what do you think of her words there? Because you know, when, when you fight the f fight that you want to, you you do bully people. You impose your will. Yeah, I I know she's going to be a tough fighter. I know I already know kind of what she's going to bring. She's going to try to get me to the mat. I don't want to get taken down, but I am not scared to go to the mat. Right. So. Uh, I just plan on keeping moving, whether it's on the ground, on the feet, I got to keep moving. I can never stay in one place. If I do, then she'll have her way with me, you know. But if as long as I'm moving and doing what I want to do, then I'm going to bully her. Now, we call you the bully. We talk about you imposing your will, but we've seen you inside the cage show a tremendous amount of heart. Uh, the Ashley Yoder fight, you were in an armbar for a very long time. You were in an armbar for a long time with Ayaka. Tell me about those situations. What's going through your mind? Because obviously the, the pain has to be tremendous. Your limb is being hyperextended the wrong way. But you, you, you don't give up until the very last moment. What goes through your mind when you're in those situations? And, and when you ultimately get free, what, what allows you to be so headstrong during those times to, to get free? Uh, losing is a learning experience. It sucks at that time. So... Uh, I don't know. I just try not to get too discouraged, and I'm just like, okay, I need to get back in the gym and work on what I need to work on. So, uh, I and I actually just watched the Yoder fight the other day. She was a really big girl, and yeah. right, she already had my arm isolated. So it was pretty much either like get TKO'd or armbarred because she was kind of like right there throwing those hammer right. fists. So if I didn't move, they would have stopped it. And I, the only way I could move is giving her my arm. So it's right. like, what do you do? So. And you also had success early in the Yoder fight as well. It wasn't like you got blown out of the water. Yeah. It was just she, she's very tough, and she's back in the UFC because of that win. You know, so um, 
Yeah, I know. I mean, it's never good to lose, but I think there are certain opponents where, yeah, it's just she was better on that night, and it's not really indicative of you being a poor talent by, by any means. And again, a top shelf talent you are at 105 pounds. You take on Ashley Cummins this Saturday night. Uh, I always love checking in with you because fighting is a, is a family experience for you. Talk about your daughter and the uh, example that you set for her. Uh, you've had a couple tough losses, and, and you know, I remember Casey Layden shot a, a great video with you. Um, and, and the relationship that you have with your daughter, you guys cry together and, and talk and, and talk about the triumphs and defeats. What's, what's it been like being you know, that role model for your daughter here uh, after these uh, last couple fights? It's, it's awesome. You see, I almost kind of get emotional just thinking about it, but she, it's cool. You know, she, we're in the gym together every day. She's, she's growing as a little fighter herself, so it's awesome so great. to see her flourish, you know, as a little human being. So it's like if I don't stay strong and keep going and look towards my goals, you know, what kind of example am I setting for her? So. Yeah, I, I think people don't understand the value of fueling your, your fire with a family member like that, and let alone someone that you created and brought into this world. It's, it's a unique experience unlike anything else in while you have to sort of be this role model it, it's so much more motivation like it's you're providing motivation for her but she's providing the the best motivation for Definitely. yourself yeah i agree like anytime i get like a little discouraged or yeah. you know not want to do whatever i just think of her and she gives she gives me a lot of motivation that i need so it is Ashley Cummins versus my guest here, Amber Brown, Saturday nights. Uh, I think a lot of divisions in, in, in Victor are wide open. 105 is one of them. Ayaka Hamasaki is moving up to 115 on Saturday night. This, this fight, in a, in a lot of ways, um, you know, sort of dictates what the future is going to be um, you know, for a contender, either for Ayaka or if, if that belt is ever vacated. What sort of statement do you need against Ashley Cummins on Saturday night to, to let the world know that you are still one of the top uh, you know, one or two factors when it comes to 105 pounds. I need to go out there and make a crazy statement. You know, I've been working extra hard. You know, I, this is the best shape I've been in in my life by far. So I and coming off of two losses, you know, I want to get back in the winning column. So I'm going to go out there and make a statement devastatingly. So we'll see it on Sunday night live on uh, UFC Fight Pass. Amber, appreciate the time and uh, best of luck against uh, Miss Cummins. Thank you, TJ.